Open HPC and, and CentOS, and so Open HPC was already mentioned a few times today, and it's a community-based effort providing software and documentation. And uh, one of the, from my point of view, important things of Open HPC is that it um, it supports um, building blocks, so you can. You're not, um, you don't have to take the, the whole package set and all the things they provide. You can just um, pick out certain building blocks you need for your um, setup. And, and um, I, I wanted to make sure that um, you can actually not use the, the binary packages from, from OpenHPC, but you, you can also use um, um, the source code to rebuild the packages, and that's why I've um, tried to rebuild um, the OpenHPC packages in the CentOS build system. So I was using OpenHPC as an as an upstream for the, this downstream effort I, I've been doing. And the background of this was um, the. Uh, we created um, um, a high performance computing special interest group in, in CentOS in April 2017. And it's a group of people interested in high performance computing on CentOS. And right now, the main focus is um, OpenHPC and, and how to, to include it. And the reason why we are doing this at all is wants to make sure that, that we can rebuild it outside of um, the existing build system. Um, we're using um, the, the CentOS build system to rebuild the packages. And we are using all architectures um, the CentOS build system provider. So we are rebuilding the packages on ARM, on Intel, and on, on PowerPC. And we are using the, the existing um, CI infrastructure to um, to make sure that that it actually works. And one one of the additional goals is like um, like ARM is doing with their compiler. We are trying to use the existing compilers provided by by by, by CentOS. So it's the GCC 6 and 7 based um, software collection packages. So we want to reduce the, um, the, so we want to reuse existing packages as much as possible to make sure that the um, differences um, between the packages built by the operating system and by OpenHPC are, are small and that there are no um, if effects between if, if we're using um, packages from outside. Um, we are also trying to use the existing MPI libraries and the different scientific libraries to see um, um, how, how that works out. And I'm already at the end. Yeah. Any questions? Microphone. All right, let's do it. Let's do it the right way. So um, I'm Jan Fischer. I'm with uh, Red Hat's product marketing organization. And um, as I mentioned, not to crash any uh, parties here or uh, you know take, take Sander away from our colleague. We just uh, figured we're going to give you a quick intro to a product that we happened to launch this morning um, and um, kind of highlight the, um, the uh, long journey that we've been on with some of our partners here in the room and elsewhere in the industry. So uh, John Masters, who doesn't need an introduction here in the circles, um, will uh, lead us down that way. But I just wanted to say 
kind of clap with my hand holding the mic, but John has been personally responsible for the majority of the uh, success and uh, majority of the implementations within Red Hat, and so he definitely deserves uh, a round of applause here, too. Thank you. Thank you, Jan. Yeah. Um, yeah, just a quick note. So we did, we did launch RHEL this morning uh, for uh, the ARM architecture. Um, and I just want to give you this highlight slide. I don't think we'll take too much time on it. But um, uh, we had an announcement with HPE this morning. They're a Apollo 70 system. Uh, and um, uh, the, the highlight for you is that it's feature parity with other architectures. Uh, and it's available now. So uh, it's no longer in development preview. Uh, it's been a wild ride for the last seven years, uh, but who's counting? Uh, and uh, what we look forward to doing over the next few years is building the stack beyond what we have here. So if you'd like to talk about RHEL on ARM uh, and our exciting plans for uh, where we're going to go, uh, then, uh, then please come find us. I will leave you with one more slide here. Uh, if I can read today, I don't have my glasses with me. Uh, so this is just a timeline of some of the things that we've done over the past few years, and you can see it's been a, a long journey, uh, and it's a journey that we plan to continue for many years yet to come. Thank you. If you got, you can grill him on anything. If you got questions, open HPC. We can get Adrian to ask, yeah. to answer. Uh, if you uh, would like to talk about what we're doing with HP, we'd be happy to HPE. We'd be happy to comment on that where we can. Uh, and uh, yeah, we, I guess we could take a couple of questions. Or find us on the floor. Is everything great? Everything works wonderfully. Is there anything? Okay, how about this question for you guys? Right? Is there anything that uh, we are not doing today uh, in RHEL uh, on ARM that you would like to see us doing, or are there suggestions you have going forward? Again, everything's great. Was anybody surprised by Everybody thought that was coming. Good. All right. Very good. All right. Well, thank you again. Thank you. Yeah. Okay.